All right, man, what is up, everybody? Today, we're fishing on land. I'm gonna give the kayak a break. Um, don't know if you could tell, but I got a river right here. I got myself some, uh, let's see, the sun's kind of very dull today, but there's a live grass shrimp in there. And I got a sabiki and a high-low rig. We're just gonna <clears throat> walk through the woods, find a nice little spot to post up, and hopefully make the most of this windy day. So stay tuned. All right, man. So I got myself some fresh grass shrimp. Uh, I got a sabiki rig. All I'm going to be doing, taking these juicy shrimp and just putting one on each hook. And then we're going to take a cast out. So stay tuned. All right. Take our first cast of the day. All right. Time to sit and wait. There's our first fish of the day. Not very big, but definitely a fish. Oh my god, look at this. That is a tiny perch. Holy sh... Well, I guess this is better than a skunk. Hopefully there's some bigger ones out there. Alright, so I got the sabiki rig out on one rod. I'm going to throw a high-low rig out on the other one. Big key when you're feeding these shrimp on, man, is just you want to fill the hook. You don't want to, this time of year, you don't want to be stingy with bait because, you know, be the difference of catching and, and not. But I'm going to put this one out. Oh, hold on. We're getting a hit on this rod before I can even cast that one out. Oh, come on, come back. Come on. Got him. Let's go. Came back for it. Look, this definitely is bigger than the first one, but that is not saying very much because that first one could have been, you know, bait. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad size one. Look at that. Look at that freaking mini jumbo. I wouldn't call that a jumbo per se, but definitely uh, moving in the right direction, man. Yeah, man. Well, that's two fish. That's awesome, man. I'm. Let me try and get this high-low rig in. There we go. Man, that one hit pretty fast. Another white perch little white perch I'll be honest man I've literally been putting my rod down and just getting crushed I mean it's almost instantaneous you gotta keep the rod in your hand otherwise you literally will miss the bite I might reel in the second rod honestly because um, literally every every time it hits the bottom you have a hit now grant there are a lot of small fish right now but Ooh, there we go. This is a big one. This might not be a perch. This might be a catfish. If it's a if it's a perch, it's a nice one. But I think it might be a cat. Yeah. You can always tell when it's a cat, daddy. Holy moly. Look at this freaking slob catfish. That's a white catfish right there. You can always tell, man. Definitely some diversity in the river this time of year. Look at this. Not a not a big catfish by any means, but you know, they definitely give you a good fight. He's saying hello. All right, got another one. Might be a cat. I don't know, I, I said that the last time and it was a perch, but it hit kind of funny. Nah, another perch, man. Actually, not a bad one. It's actually not a bad sized perch right there. Look how cute. Holy moly, look at this rod. Oh my god, I'm here messing with that perch and my rod's keeled over. This is definitely a catfish. Oh my god. Man. Man, Mark. 
cat. Yeah, look at that. Two for one right there. We're definitely going to have to move to one rod because we still got a perch on this one. And we just got a nice catfish on this one. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That one hit a little different. It might be another cat. Nah, another perch. Not a bad one. That one hit a lot harder. Either that or it was multiple fish that hit it once and I missed. Ooh, that's definitely another cat. That thing definitely another catfish. They have like the more elongated hits. Like a, a heavier thump. And he's also got the death spin. Typical catfish. Man, no shortage of these guys today. Yeah, I could always tell when it's a catfish, man. Because the the hits are more like thump, thump, thump. Where the perch are more like tap, tap, tap. Let them go, man. They're actually not bad eating uh, catfish. Oh man, we're getting a hit on another rod. I'm over here talking about how good they are to eat. I just missed two good hits right there. Son of a good. There we go, another one. Not a big one, but definitely another perch. And they are plentiful today. Nothing of size, but definitely numbers. Which, in the winter time, man, when everything else is gone, you know, most of the striper fishing's done. Unless you're, you know, fishing offshore. You know, it's just you can't really beat this type of fishing, in my opinion, for what you're putting in and what you're getting out of it. Oh my god, the bite has just turned on. This this one literally was just in the rod holder for like 20 seconds, not even. It literally, I put it down to hopefully run to the bathroom and I turn and I see it's, you know, bouncing up and down. Whew, another perch. Alright, get another hit. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Thinking this is a nicer perch. Could be wrong. Never know. Kind of got a death spin, which tells me it is not a perch. It is the white catfish. The infamous death spin. Like I was saying earlier, man, these guys are actually pretty good to eat. Um, they're just a very pain in the neck to uh, fillet. And I don't like keeping something that small. If you got them up to like a foot or so, they're worth keeping just because of the amount of meat you'll get off of them. Man. There we go. Got him. Man, that was a very light hit. Um, if I still got him on here, he's very small. Oh yeah, look at that. You can always tell when they're the smaller guys. That's like a perfect bait size right there, man, like a live line. 